Good morning, everybody. Hot grease here. Start of another rainy day. But we were lucky. We slept in that cabin right there, the middle one, last night with some heat. We dried all our clothes out, so we're going to start out dry. And uh, we feel comfortable, had a good meal. We're staying at uh, Middlebrook Campground. Uh, food is very good, it's all home cooked. And, uh, and we're dry. So uh, we get a free shuttle back and forth. Right now we're waiting on the shuttle. It's, uh, it's almost nine o'clock, so we're getting a late start. But this is the campground right here that we're at. And uh, up there is the office. So uh, it's a one person operation right now. So she's up there cooking for two other guys. As Soon as she's done, she'll give us a ride back to the trailhead, which is probably four or five miles away. I'll say if it was closer, we'd walk. But uh, we're gonna wait for the ride. And uh, we have 14 miles to the shelter we're gonna stay at. And then um, spend the night, and then we'll be going into Glasgow tomorrow for resupply and whatever we need. So, move it along, headed north. And it's still, you know, even though it's dreary and all that, and it's a beautiful day on the Appalachian Trail. This is our ride back to the trail. Part of the adventure. It's not raining right now, so we've got a little bit of wind. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but. Another ride in the back of a pickup. Grease here, that's where we came from yesterday evening. We're all getting ready. We're headed up trail. We're gonna mosey for a bit until our muscles loosen up. And today, most of it's uphill. So if I'm videoing, you're gonna hear me breathing. It's just the way it is. Starts right off, uphill. All right, we'll see what something exciting happens. I'll turn around. Hey everyone, talk Grease. That's where I come from. We're about a mile and a half in. We're ridge walking now up the first climb. I just come to this one spot where the trail goes out to light. I don't think the sun's coming up. Hot grease here. We are taking a break at the shelter. We just came upon something that we haven't seen. This shelter is extremely well built. It's post and beam. It's pegged. It's the guy who did this spent some time here. He, uh, Outstanding. It's got two levels. Look at the size of the sauna tubes it's sitting on. I mean, we're, we're a long ways from anywhere. I mean, just the decking, the cooking platforms. This thing is... This could be somebody's home if it was closed in a little bit. So this is what it's dedicated to. This gentleman right here. It is the best built shelter that we've seen. I don't know. That's glass right there. It's got glass in it. The overhangs are three feet, so you can walk around it and not get wet. The water source is right next to the to the shelter. Look at that hanging hook for your pack. And like I said, everything's pegged. It's uh, there's a lot of craftsmanship in this place. Just take a look at this one corner right here. Look at 
all those uh, pegs and all that work. Right here, it says Bryant Reed Shelton, dedicated to the loving memory of Nelson. So here's the first floor. You could probably sleep six or seven here. It's got a whole full deck. Look at the rungs to get up there. I'm going to have to climb up. I'm not. I can. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm going up. Look at the handrail he built. I'm doing this while I'm climbing this ladder, so you have to bear with me a little bit. We're a little shaky. Now, that's all glass right there. And there's probably room for 10 hikers up here. I mean... Very well done. Hot grease here. Set up a big climb right now. You see him across it. Real nice little climb. Pretty nice. I think we're going to be following this brook all the way up through. At least for a while. Hey everybody, it's hot grease. A little FaceTime here. Worst weather day yet on, on trail. This afternoon it started pouring and the wind was gusting, you know, 40 miles an hour anyways. And we were at 3,500 feet, and sideways rain, 30, 40 mile an hour winds. So what that means is I'm completely soaked through. Everything's wet. So that's gonna be a good storm to test all my gear inside my pack. Hopefully it's all dry. Because when we get to shelter tonight, I'll just switch out the wet stuff for the dry stuff. If not, if it's wet too, I'm gonna to be a cold sleeper tonight. But that's where we're at. Not a lot of footage today. Just difficult conditions. And we're just trying to get to the shelter. Hope you all understand. And uh, I'll, to, I'll try to do an end of day wrap up when I get there. So, hope everybody's day is as good as mine. <laughs> all right, have a good one. supposed to have a heck of a view but there'll be no view it's just fog and rain and wind and cold I'm not trying to be negative I'm just I know one thing I thought by now that the trail would be getting easier boy was I wrong I think it's getting harder there is nothing easy about it. That's all there is to it. And yeah, I'm positive and I'm cheery. But on a day like today, 3,000 feet in elevation gain, hard rain and wind, cold, soaked to the bone. I'm hungry, I'm tired. But there ain't no doubt about it. That's just real, that's what it is. So if anybody out there is thinking about doing this, the only advice I can give you is you got to want to do it. That's all there is to it. If you really don't want it bad, you're not going to do it. So here we are, somewhere around 750 or 60 miles. 
and I am exhausted. I'm hungry. I think it's showing through on the video. That's what I don't even know if you can hear this when it won't stop. 1.1 in that ballpark to the shelter. At that point, I can have something to eat and hopefully get into some dry clothes. I'll probably do an end of day there. All right, everybody. It's not negative. It's just reality. Thanks for watching. He's here. We're going to, on a steep down right now. And if you look way down there, there's Bloodhound making his way through. We're getting ready to come upon a... A famous spot on trail that uh, everybody talks about and goes through. Uh, look, look at that cave down in there. Rather interesting. So I'm trying to video here and I probably shouldn't be because I am going down real steep. So. Somebody's done some work here with some stairs to get us through this crevice. Can't use my trekking poles. And my finger gets in the way when I adjust the phone. But I could try to edit that out. But All kinds of caves here. All kinds of crevices. At least we're on the leeward side of the mountain, so the wind is going over our heads. We really don't hear it. So I thought I'd bring you through this section with a little trail time, and hopefully we're going to walk up on the guillotine, which is one of the spots on trail. Yep, yeah, we're walking on it right now, so we're in perfect timing. I'm going to get Bloodhound to go through for me. If you don't mind. Okay. If you don't mind going through. Go. Awesome. That's in case that he's got his umbrella in case the rock falls. <laughs> you don't want to get hurt. So how did that rock get there? I guess it just was sitting in the right place at the right time when all the erosion happened. Someday. Wow, this thing ain't being held on by a lot. Someday and that thing is uh four feet in diameter, so it's not a really little rock. One day it's going to hit the ground here. Opening today. Alright everybody, we're almost through. We're going to turn around and see if Screwball is going to come through. Oh, oh that went a slip. And there's a shot of the guillotine from the other side. He's up there looking in them caves, so he may be a while. <laughs> Interesting formation. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. He's back. Look who shut up in the door. I'm videoing him. He's videoing me. You guys have no choice. That puts things in a little bit of perspective from the front side. As you can see, we're all tired today. All right. I, maybe now I'll do an end of day at the shelter. But uh, we're through the guillotine, all three of us, safe and sound.